Hello, this is the final project for ISTE 7430 Cindy Renault. The objective of this project was to learn and understand how historical figures were involved and impacted the Civil War. Students were asked to research and use their creative skills to create a Weebly website for their historical figure. This goes along the lines with the Georgia standards on the Civil War and also the ISTE standards of creative, innovative, collaboration, research, problem solving, digital citizenship, and technology concepts. So the first thing that they were asked to do was to research and create a timeline um, using Time Toast, and um, they later embedded it on their website. Um, Time Toast is a great tool that allows them to plot um, dates on it and then embed it anywhere in a blog or, you know, a website as this student did. As they were researching, they were also asked um, to go ahead and map out what their website would look like, and they used Google Draw to do this. As you can see, this student just created a short um, Google thing. Um, to give them some sort of collaboration and understanding, you know, at different levels of, um, of learning. We wanted to um, accommodate all learning styles, and this gave a lot of um, organization to the project. So once they did that, then they were able to create their website, and they had to create um, five to six pages and a reference page. They were given the choice of um, then using um, two more Web 2.0 tools such as YouTube, Wordle, Blabberize, or Vokey. This um, student used YouTube here and then they also used um, Wordle, which we thought was really cute, on this site and then they took a picture and posted it on the website. Um, this to me gives, um, you know, higher order of thinking where they could analyze and understand how this particular, um, figure impacted the war. Also, to create, um, some differentiated learning, we provided a calendar of how they would step-by-step step how they would do their project and this also gave students some structure so the more advanced students could move along and some of the students that struggled a little bit could go ahead and have some structure. For the assessment piece we used the rubric um, and that gave them you know good structure on how the content you know the amount of material that needed to be but we also had them evaluate each other so as you can see in this Google Doc they were each giving two peers to edit so they had to um, look at each other's website and give some critiquing and we found this to be interesting because they actually did better when the students critiqued and the sites came out just absolutely beautiful after they each critiqued their website because they would go back and fix the things that their peers said that, that they should work on. Um, my recommendation for if you were to do this would be for sure to give demos on how to use the Web 2.0 tools. It's really important um, to give them a little bit of a foundation when you're doing this. So just don't throw them in the deep end and say, okay, create the website. You know, kind of give them a little bit of like a 10 or 15 minute demo, you know, and then be prepared um, to work on issues and show the one, different learning styles. Um, you know, you may have some students that will just excel and just move right along, and then you may have stu students that struggle. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, this is my project for the Civil War with the seventh grade.